In this lecture, I'm going to be showing you how to get an actual address using Geocoding API by making an HTTP request using Ajax. So what is Google's Geocoding API? Well, Geocoding is the process of converting street address to geographic coordinates, which are latitude and longitude. But what we want is the opposite, right? So what we need is a reverse geocoding which is basically converting geographic coordinates to an actual human readable street address. Here is the HTTP endpoint for that. maps.googleapis.com slash maps slash API slash geocode slash JSON. The last parameter, JSON is the response format. Along with this, I'm going to pass two query parameters in order to get this working properly, which are lat long and key. The value of lat long would be the actual value of latitude and longitude separated by comma. And the value of key parameter would be the API key which I showed you how to get it from in the previous lesson. I'm going to be using Axios which is an HTTP client to make Ajax request. This is going to be three step process. Install Axios import to user location component and make a request using get method on the Axios object. I'm going to open up the terminal from my Visual Studio code editor, view, terminal and run npm install dash dash save space Axios, which will take a few seconds to install it to our project. Let's import Axios module inside user location component. After the script tag, import Axios from Axios inside quotes. Now we have Axios ready to use. Let's declare a function called get address from with two parameters lat and long inside methods object. Then call this function inside where I console log geographic coordinates and pass the latitude and longitude as arguments to that function, like so. In view, you would use this keyword when you are calling a function that is declared inside methods object. Okay, in the get address from function, I'm going to invoke get method on Axios object, like so, and pass the geocoding HTTP endpoint URL. Inside the codes, maps.googleapis.com slash maps api json question mark lat long equals here i am concatenating lat and long values separated by comma and adding key as a second query parameter using the and sign the value of the key is your actual google api key Axios.get method will return a promise. So add then function which will have a return object specified in the parameter called response if the request is fulfilled. If not, the catch function will be executed. I'm going to console log the error like that. Inside then function, I'm going to do one more check to see if there is no error message in the response object. For example, if the API key is not valid, the response object will have an error message. Let's check that. If opening and closing parenthesis, response dot data dot error underscore message. Opening and closing curly braces. Inside that, I'm going to console log that error. Else, get the actual address using response dot data dot results which would be an array but i'm going to get the first index of it dot formatted underscore address let's switch back to the browser click on the locator button and allow indeed i can see an actual human readable address and it's working great let's show the address in the input field for that, define an instant property called address inside data function 
in the return object, then bind this address property to the input field using b hyphen model directive like that. After that, all I have to do is set this property to an actual address that we get from geocoding API like that. Let's test that. Nice. We are not done yet. Let's see if the errors are working as expected. Make some changes to the endpoint, maybe adding some text after comma, save the file, switch back to the browser, and you can see request failed with status code 400 in the developer console. As you can see, the line number actually matches, so we know it's coming from the catch function. To check the error message in the response object, Make API key invalid by adding some text to it and try that. And it says this time the different error, the provider API key is invalid, which is coming from the then function inside the if error check. In the next lesson, I'll be showing you how to show the errors when it happens on the screen at the top of the error message box. Hey, if you want to know more about Google Maps API and how you can use it to enhance location-based services in your JavaScript or Vue.js app, check out my course link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.